What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Universe 2-pack figure set on not the Marvel Universe figures, but the 3 3 quarter inch Marvel Legends series, Spider-Man Homecoming, Vulture, and Spider-Man. If you're trying to get these figures, I'm sure you can get them at the Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So I picked these up at Target, and it does look like a very cool Spidey figure, and the Vulture looks pretty sweet, so I did have to pick up this set, I'm just too curious. Anyway, we get a nice image of the Tom Holland Spidey right over there, as well as the same image of him swinging on the sides. And then on the very back, you can see a product shot of the two figures. There's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, pause it now. And then you can see also available, we have Shocker and the comic version Spidey, which I did pick up. All right, let's get to it and crack these things open. And here are the figures out of the packaging. And wow, I actually like this two-pack set much more than I thought I would, just by judging the figures from while they're inside the box. Uh, the Spider-Man is missing a lot of points of articulation that I was really hoping it would have, but it actually has more points of articulation than I expected it to have. So I'm actually more pleased with the Spidey figure than I expected myself to be. Uh, the Vulture figure is lacking a lot of articulation as well. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the Vulture, and then we'll take a closer look at Spidey. So here's looking at the helmet sculpt for the Vulture. Does it look film accurate to you? Uh, so far from what we've seen, uh, yeah, it doesn't look film accurate at all. So that is a bit disappointing. Uh, but, you know, I guess I do like the metallic green paint. That does look nice, but I'm not like the flat gray plastic over here and I don't even think this whole part is accurate to the film either I don't know well he does kind of have those little two uh, ports right over here what do they call these the filters uh, I can't remember exactly what those are called but yeah let me know if you know we get this flat gray plastic right here which I'm not a huge fan of so yeah I'm pretty disappointed in this head sculpt I mean at least we have this black strap going through the back of the helmet but and he does have his aviator jacket on so that's nice and it's all fluffy around the collar and everything I like the beige color we got some nice gold details right here and over here so that's not looking too shabby and some silver bits where you can see some of the brown coming through so yeah uh, it could have used another layer of silver paint I think Get some gold, more flat gray plastic. At least the legs look pretty cool though, right here. But then when it gets uh, below the knees, and you know, of course, we get some nice sculpted detail and some gold pits. But yeah, I don't like the flat gray plastic. I like the sculpted details once again. And these talons look pretty good. You know, when you stand the figure up, it really does stand on the points of the talons, which I think is kind of interesting. So that's kind of neat. I do like the sculpted work right here. So that's pretty cool. And then here's looking at the back of the figure. I actually think the wings look pretty good. Um, now they are incomplete. They don't have, you know, the spinning turbines right over here. And I don't have a complete Marvel Legends uh, movie vulture to compare this to. Uh, the only one I need left is actually the web wing Spider-Man. So if anybody has one of those for sale and uh, they're willing to let it go, you know, I'll buy it off you. Please let me know. But anyway, we get some nice green paint over this very dark gray, which looks pretty good I like it so I like seeing all these sculpted details right here it looks pretty sweet very nice and then I like how the green looks right there of course when you get this out of package you do have to port the backpack on here um, it's all assembled or the you know the wings are already attached so you just place this on right here and man nice gunmetal paint right over there wish we'd got that more in other parts of the figures like if they'd taken the paint from this and put it on these legs that would have been cooler and then they could have just left this as a flat gray plastic because we don't even see it once you have this all ported together so I would have liked that now for the vultures articulation the head is just on a ball peg so getting him to look up is a bit tricky I tend to try to half the helmet head sculpt onto this ball peg so it looks like he's looking up even more and it'll stay there fairly well and you can get his head looking down uh, just that much you will get side to side movement and a bit of head pivot right here shoulder joints move outward just that far they will move all the way down you can rotate 360 degrees without running into the wings so you can turn them like that you do get a single jointed elbow that does not meet the 90 degree mark it rotates and then no wrist swivel at all on either side and I'm just noticing 
noticing now that he does have these very cool looking gloves on here. That looks pretty nice. No torso articulation at all whatsoever. I thought he had a waist swivel, but nope. Uh, his hip joints do move outward that far, and he will kick forward that much and not back too much. Uh, he doesn't even have, well, he has a little bit of rotation right there at the hip, but not a real swivel. He does have double jointed knees, so that's pretty cool. And then he does have ankles that move down and they move up, and he does have ankle pivot, and he does have wing articulation, so you can bend the wings up and down. I think that's pretty cool. So it does add some extra posability right there, which I think is pretty neat. I always like that. So yeah, I do like the head sculpt on this figure. I actually really like the sculpt and paint on the figure throughout, for the most part. As small as this figure is, you can actually see the little lines right here from the aperture of those lenses being able to close and open. So I think that's very cool. I really like that a lot, especially on a small figure. And you do have webs sculpted inside the plastic, which I think works for this size figure. A little inconsistency with the hinge color right there. You can see it's a bit darker plastic in the hinges on this figure. And then you get the black lines right there, and you get your Romita Senior Style logo on the back. Then on the front right here, we get the spider logo right there. And I gotta say, I do like all the little lines sculpted in here in the suit. You know, pretty good looking design. Then we get some nice black paint throughout on the arms right here. He has a fist on the right hand and a thwippage on the left hand right there. I don't know exactly what's going on on the outside, so I guess we'll see it more in detail as the movie comes out. But it looks like that's the little uh, control mechanism for the web shooter going into his palm. So I always thought that was something that was underneath the glove, but it looks like for this version it's on the outside of the glove. And then looking right here, we get some very nice bright blue, and the legs have some nice lines sculpted in them too. So that looks pretty nice. Looking on the back right over there, looks pretty good. And then looking at the boots, look pretty nice too. So yeah, I'm liking this. Again, the hinges are a little bit too dark. And he does have some black on the sides and on the heels, and he does have peg holes. I didn't mention that the vulture had peg holes, but the vulture does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet as well. So yeah, I would like having that. So one thing I didn't expect with this figure was that disc hinge in the neck joint. I just didn't expect to get this kind of articulation. So I'm very happy that we can make his head look all the way up, and he will look all the way down. Now you do get side to side movement right over here. He has shoulders that move outward just that much. They will move all the way down. You could rotate 360. He has a swivel at the elbow and then you can bend his elbow in nowhere near 90 degrees. That is extremely frustrating. That bums me out a lot. I guess on the right side it's a little bit better. I guess maybe you could rotate around. Maybe I have it going the other, yeah, no, that's really the best you can do. And the other thing that bums me out is that there's no wrist articulation also, so it makes it very tricky to get the figure into the poses that I wanted to, and there's a little bit of paint chipping right there from those elbow joints. So, yeah, big frustration right there with the figure. He does have a diaphragm joint that turns side to side. You get diaphragm pivot, and he does crunch forward, and he does crunch back some. Then the hip joints move outward that much, and he does kick forward that much, and back. He has no thigh swivel, but like the vulture you can you know shift around like that he does have double jointed knees that bend in really well and then he does have ankles that move down up and he does have ankle pivot now to measure out these two figures you can see that the vulture is standing right at four and a half inches tall and then Spidey's just barely over four inches tall then measuring the wingspan of the vulture you could see that these wings are about eight inches across now for your vulture comparison we have our movie vulture right over here compared to the comic version from Marvel Universe and for those of you desperate to see a head swap, it, it won't work uh, you'll be able to get the helmet on the comic version of vulture but the comic vulture head won't go on this movie body in case you wanted to see that. So yeah, it does not work. And then for your three three quarter inch cinematic Spidey comparison, yes, I still have all three of them. Not getting rid of them just because I love Spider-Man so much and I love my Spider-Man figures. <laughs> Sorry, geeked out just a little bit too hard. But yeah, we have the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man right here, and then we have the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man right over there, along with the Tom Holland, of course. And out of these three, um, I, I'm reluctant to say that my favorite one out of the three of them is actually the Amazing Spider-Man figure. This one definitely has the most articulation, and I remember having a lot of fun with this figure, and it's still a very good figure. Design-wise, it's actually my least favorite, and I don't know, I think sculpting-wise, it does look a bit awkward. And then while this guy does not have ankle pivot, but a whole ton of other articulation, I still kind of like this one a little bit more. I, I don't know. I, I need more time with it, but yeah, this one's definitely my favorite.
favorite. And then here's our Tom Holland 3 3 quarter inch Spider Man next to the little big time letdown Spider Man, not to be confused with the big time no letdown. And here's the figures fighting each other once more. And I've actually been having a good time posing these things around. I've complained a lot about both of these figures, but they're really not that bad. If you're a 3 3 quarter inch collector, I think you're going to like them, especially the Spider Man figure. I've actually been having fun posing it around. Well, and the Vulture's not that bad either. You know, you get the posable wings, you know, you move together like that and everything. So they're not terrible figures, not great figures. I think they're okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the figures. Let me know what you think of the review. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at MarvelousNews.com. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed and you haven't hit the notification bell, go ahead and hit that notification bell for your own good, I tell ya. And if you want to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, links are in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Please posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. We're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot.